Hey guys, Shaw from EOS Blocksmith here. I wanted to make a video to show you guys how to do one of the most fundamental things you can do to protect your EOS funds, and that is to change your account permissions. Now, some of you are probably looking at me and scratching your heads and asking yourself, what's a permission? What does that mean? Well, permissions is basically another word for changing your keys. And in the EOS ecosystem, every account comes by default with two keys a master key, which is called the owner key, and an active key, which is kind of like a secondary key. Now the owner key or the owner permission is kind of like a God key or a master key. It lets you change anything or do anything with your account. The active key lets you do almost everything. It lets you vote for block producers, lets you transfer funds. It just doesn't let you change other permissions or change other keys. Now by default, these two keys are identical. And so, the best practice is to change your owner key to something different and then put that away in cold storage and then use your active key for everyday transfers or everyday activities. And then if you feel like maybe your active key got compromised or someone saw it, you can pull your owner key out and change that active key or even change your owner key too. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to change your owner key. Okay, so let me walk you through this. Um, first thing we're going to do is go to the Graymask wallet. Make sure you have the most recent version uh, downloaded because the older versions don't have some of the features we're going to use. Um, and then you're going to click on Tools. <clears throat> and then you're going to go to Key Generator. Uh, the Graymask guys have put in this awesome little feature where you can just randomly generate keys. So I'm going to hit Generate Key. And uh, it went ahead and generated me a new uh, public-private key pairing. And I'm going to uh, copy that to my clipboard and just get that copied down in a text edit file. That's all we're using the Graymask wallet for today. So you can close that bad boy up. Then we're going to go over to the EOS uh, toolkit by Generios. And um, we're going to log into Scatter. And first thing we're going to do is generate a key pair. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to hit new and um, make sure that we're on EOS. We're going to name this. And for the purpose of this video, I created an account called uh, EOS Tutorial. So I'm going to put that in. And then I'm going to take my uh, current private key, not the new ones that we just made, but the current one. And I'm going to paste that private key into Scatter. If I did it right, then it will auto-populate the public key that matches that private key, and it looks like it did. So I'm going to hit Save. And now we've got uh, the key pair set up. So let's go back out and create an identity uh, with that key pair. So I'm going to hit Create Identity. And then um, I'm going to make sure that I'm on EOS mainnet. And I'm going to go ahead and choose the key pair that I want to associate with this identity, and that's going to be the one that I just made. So I'll hit Import. And now, um, when you're setting Scatter up, it's going to give you a choice uh, between an active key and the owner uh, key. And you almost always want to set this up with the active key, because uh, you don't need to be using the owner key for day-to-day -day transactions. But in this specific case, we are trying to change our owner key. So we want to choose uh, the owner key in this case. And save that. And there we go. So we've got our uh, owner key for our account all set up. Now, um, let's go to over to find accounts here. And uh, I'm going to type in uh, the name of my account, which is EOS Tutorial 1. And I just want to see uh, what that looks like. Notice we haven't actually attached uh, that identity yet to Scatter. I'm just, uh, or to the toolkit, I'm just looking at the account um, right now. And so it shows me, you know, how much EOS I have in there, not very much. Um, and then I'm going to go to the JSON file. And if you scroll down on the JSON file, it'll show me that I have an active key and an owner key. And currently they're both the same. And that's the default state again with any EOS account. And the whole purpose of this is that we want to change this owner key. So we're going to um, go ahead and do that. So let's attach our um, 
account so that we can use um, our account with the EOS toolkit. We've only got one, just that EOS owner key that we set up, so let's attach that identity. And now I'm gonna go to uh, manage permissions. And <clears throat> it kind of knows that I wanna change permissions on the EOS tutorial one account. And so now what we're gonna do is take our new public key, not the private key, just the public key. And we're gonna paste that. We're here where it says owner permission, if you wanna change, and we wanna change that. So I'm gonna paste that in. And then I'm going to hit update. It's going to ask me if I want to confirm and everything looks okay. Let's say yes. And then it says uh, success. So say thanks. Okay, that's it. If you did everything right, then you just changed your owner key. Uh, but let's double check that. There's a couple ways to do that. So first things first, I'm going to go back to the find accounts and I'm gonna type it in again and hit search because otherwise it might not have refreshed. Then you go to show JSON file and if you scroll down you can notice now that my key, my owner key is different than my active key right now. So if I look over here it looks like it matches what I wanted. So I know that that's been done. Uh, another way to check that is uh, if you've ever used EOS Flare which is a block explorer um, this was my account right before I did that transaction. I'm gonna, I'm gonna type it in here again. EOS tutorial one. And if you do that, you see one transaction and it says, uh, shows you that the uh, owner key was changed. And so that's another way that I know that we got the owner key changed properly. So that's pretty much it. That's how you change your owner keys. Not that complicated uh, if someone kind of walks you through it. Um, one thing to remember is that um, if you want to say change your active key, you can go ahead and do that as well, but you're going to have to uh, um, re-import your scatter settings because the current key pair that you have in there um, is the old uh, owner key pair that shouldn't work anymore because you just changed your owner key. So you're gonna have to delete that key pair and delete the identity and then um, um, uh, reset those to your new ones or to the active one, which theoretically haven't changed yet. Well, that's how to protect your EOS account. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a shout on Telegram if you have any questions or you can drop a comment uh, in the comments below and we'll catch you next time, EOS fans. Mm -hmm.